Hi everyone and welcome to our preview of Returner 77. Returner 77 is directed and produced by the gaming studio Fantastic Yes out of Copenhagen. My name is Ronja, I will be your host. But before that, use the little housekeeping. This session is set to 20 minutes and thank you for joining. Um, if you have any questions during this preview, please type them into your question box in your Go to Webinar control panel. You will also be able to access high resolution screenshots uh, if you access the handouts icon in your control panel. Today's presenters uh, would be David Fella and Simon Fella, both co-founders. We have Eric Sutton joining us as well as the presenter that who will take, take us through the game. And we also have Aga, who will make sure that all your questions will be answered. The agenda for today is that we're going to first speak to David and Simon on why we created the Return of 77 universe. And then we're going to hand over to Eirik, who's going to give us a sneak peek of the two first level of our new game, Return of 77. But uh, let's start with talking to Simon and David um, and why we created the Returner universe that we're about to enter. So please, Simon and David, take it away. Hello, guys. My name is Simon, one of the co-founders of Fantastic Yes. I'm sitting here with uh, the other co-founder, David, and we are here to share some thoughts about the game with you guys. Hi, guys. This is uh, David. Super excited to be here because uh, we are just about to launch what is 12 months of work for our little team here. Very excited. But here are some few thoughts on what it actually is that we uh, want to, well, launch. Uh, what we've been working on is bringing PC console gaming experiences to the mobile platform. And Return to 77 is our first take on this, hopefully out of many. You see, Return to 77 is an episodic game. What we found and what we worked with ever since the beginning was that as mobile devices get bigger and have better performance, so does the opportunity to create high performance, triple A-like immersive and challenging experiences on the go, like any other digital and entertainment experience out there now. And we think we're there now. And that's what we want to work with here. Uh, we actually have called it throughout the development of this whole thing and the design almost triple A, uh, which we th it's a fantastic, exciting time to be in as a game developer because we are on the brink of uh, seeing that transformation happen. And we want to be part of that wave. The, the concept that we work with, uh, uh, not as opposed to other puzzle games, but still a bit, is to base our entire game not only on strong puzzles, and, and interesting, right-level, well-balanced puzzles, but also on having a very strong narrative, strong storytelling, with the potential to develop and engage players over many episodes. Not just a one-off or a slightly hidden story uh, dwelling in fantastic puzzles, but simply an engaging narrative that can continue over uh, many games. There's a few features I would like to uh, share with you because we also found that these features could be really cool to have in built into the game experience because sometimes in these puzzle games people get stuck uh, and we don't want that to happen we rather want people to continue playing our game to the end because it is driven by a narrative and the narrative is important to us rather that than to get stuck so we built in two features one is the ai which is a smart in helmet feature that not only hints as in so many other puzzle games, but also is actually able to solve the puzzle for you if you need it, if you want it. And if you are out of time or if you come back to this certain level again and want to replay the whole thing, but you don't want to play that puzzle, then you can ask the in-helmet AI to solve the puzzle for you. We, we hope that feature will be as well received as we think it has been, um, it has been developed. The other uh, feature is uh, the radar. Also an in-helmet, and by saying that I'm also disclosing that you as a player actually is wearing a helmet in this game. You're a space pilot. 
Uh, the radar is a cool feature that shows you the shadow of Colonel Ling. Colonel Ling is the character whose trails you follow throughout the game. And the radar shows you sort of the shadow of her. Where has she been? What has she touched? So that you always know where to go. Uh, and you can use it if you want. If you don't want, if you want to just explore and find out yourself, you're free to do that. But if you sort of get stuck and don't know where to go next, you can always use the radar and the radar will guide you. All right, that's it from uh, this side. Thank you and bye. So thank you, David and Simon. We will go ahead uh, and hand over to Eirik, who will show us a sneak peek of the first two level levels in Return of 77. Take it away, Eirik. Thanks, Kanya. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys what we've been working on for so long. Let's start off by opening the game on my iPad. So this is the main menu of our game. In this preview, I'll start off with the first chapter, and uh, there's a little intro movie that will get everyone into the scene. This is Colonel Lin. I'm the one who woke you up from cryosleep. I need your help. You and I are now the only returners left. The other 75 did not make it back down to Earth. I'm sorry we have to meet like this. We have breaking news. The world is under alien invasion. We have dozens of reports coming in from every major global city. Panic and pandemonium are filling the streets. We have no reports of alien contact. I've docked the alien ship and programmed your pod to connect to mine. I know how this must sound to you, 77. I'm not sure if your helmet AI is online. Mine is unstable. I'm not even sure if your cryo memory is intact. You wouldn't be the first to lose memory after cryo sleep. I need you to follow me now. I need you to follow me now. I'm going into their spaceship. I'm sure the beam is our way home. Last chance, as they say. Remember, 77. We're the only ones left. All right, as you can see, I'm in a giant crystal spaceship, and my mission is to follow Colonel Ling's footsteps to save mankind. I'll start off by walking you through the tutorial. The tutorial was designed to basically give the player an idea of the different mechanics that you can experience during the game. Um, as an example here, swiping to look around. Now we also have Polaroids that Colonel Ling has left for us to see, which gives hints on different gameplay elements. I hope you find this video print 77. I'll leave as many as I can on my way through the ship. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought you here. I'll explain, but have patience. With a little, little luck, we'll meet soon. Thank you. 
So as you can see, we have multiple items in the game. Each of these items have a specific function for a specific puzzle. And very simple mechanics, like dragging and dropping from, from the user interface. And there's of course multiple things that you can rotate, move around, and drag along a path, or simply rotate. And these are things that you'll experience throughout the game in different manners, with different complexities. As you can see, the tutorial is almost finished and I was able to turn on the gravity in the spaceship again to further progress through the, the hull. Now throughout the whole game, you will have the AI to assist you whenever needed. There's also a scanner that the player can use if they ever get stuck or don't know where to go in a certain direction. Now using this, I'll use it again as you see, shows me three points of interest. Now I can tap on the first one that was over here, where I'm getting further into the hole. You can look around. If I use it again, I can see there's an interesting point here. This seems to be some sort of puzzle. And if I go ahead and solve this, I get feedback that I've solved it, and a handle pops out. Now this is a similar dragging mechanic along a path that was shown in the tutorial. item of interest here. The question is where to use it. There's another point of interest here. Some kind of mechanical object with symbols on it. You can also inspect the item by tapping on it in the inventory. Now I've noticed that there's a symbol on the item. This could be a clue to what symbols are needed on this mechanical object. Maybe dragging out an item similar to the tutorial will allow me to do something. It seems that I'm missing an item. insert the remaining item, and the puzzle lights up. So the dangerous crystals allowed me to, or I've now moved away and allow me to progress further, further throughout the hall.
I'm going to leave the hall now because we have a lot of gameplay to get through and I want to show everyone some of the other levels that we have to offer. So I'll return back to the main menu and of course all my progress will be saved so you can always feel free to jump straight back into where you left, left off. So I'm going to jump into the bridge scene. And the bridge is where the master aliens control the whole ship. And more of this will be explained through the story as you progress through this level. So I can use the scanner effect again to find points of interest. You can see I can move here to the center. Looking around, it's a massive room. If you ever get stuck, you can always use the artificial intelligence up in the right corner. And it gives you hints to what the puzzle is about and what kind of elements it contains. Opening it multiple times gives you more hints on how to solve it. And finally, at the very end, it will give you the option for it to solve it for you if you've given up. So if I let it solve it for me. As you can see, the AI is finished calculating the solution, and, is, and I'm presented with a question of whether it wants me to execute the solution. If I tap yes, it will perform the solution, and the puzzle is now completed. I can now progress further throughout the bridge. see there seems to be many different puzzles up here but now that I've shown you the first two levels there's much to discover and I would recommend that you all grab a, co a copy and play it for yourselves okay thank you Irie I cannot wait for the game to launch tomorrow uh, so you should as Eric said grab your copy of Return to 77 it will be available on App Store on Wednesday tomorrow. Um, well, uh, before we run it up, I also want to ask you, Aga, can you please remind us on how we ask questions again? Yes, please make sure to type all your questions in the question box in your control panel and I will be happy to answer all of them. Perfect, but thank you everyone to listening in we appreciate you being here um and we hope you enjoy the game and just let us know any feedback we will be happy to get uh, to know that as well